Hey guys, Brian Grossman here with Georgia Field. I just wanted to shoot a quick tip out here in my backyard. I got thinking about this the other day. Uh, for those of you maybe who don't know your oaks or you're not sure how to tell whether or not you're dealing with a white oak or a red oak, because you know, you'll often hear guys talk about how deer prefer white oaks. Um, and that's definitely true if they have their choice between the two. Uh, the white oaks are lower in, the, the acorns are lower in tannin, which uh, tannin gives it that bitter taste. Um, and so they'll, they'll eat, typically eat a white oak before they'll eat a red oak acorn. However, the, the higher tannin levels allow the red oak acorns to last longer. So a lot of times those uh, red oak acorns will be available longer in the season. So later season, uh, you might find those deer focusing in on the red oak acorns. But I'm kind of getting off track already. It, this isn't really about that. It's more about just being able to tell the difference between the two. And there's a few ways to do that. I got a nice white oak right here behind me in my yard and uh, the bark is the first thing I wanted to point out. White oaks will typically have this whitish gray bark and it'll be pretty flaky. Now, sometimes if it's a really big tree, a really mature tree, the bark might be a little tighter at the base, but if you'll look up, the further up the tree you get, you'll notice it gets that flakier look to it. So, and then I got a red oak over here behind me, which I'll flip around here. Um, and you'll notice this is a much darker bark, it's a much tighter bark. And there's several different species of red oak and that's gonna vary a little bit. But your white oak tree will be, have that flaky whitish gray bark. Now another, another difference is gonna be in the leaf itself. If you find some leaves on the ground or if you're looking up into the tree, white oak leaves will typically have rounded lobes. So as you can see, they're, they're kind of rounded at the edges there, um, at the tips, as opposed to a red oak leaf which will have defined points. The tips will be pointed. So you can see the difference in a red oak and a white oak leaf. And then you can also actually tell with the cap of the acorn. So if you just find some acorns on the ground and maybe you have some red oaks and white oaks scattered around, you're not sure which is actually dropping. Um, a red oak acorn, and, and I apologize for these examples, all I got are these tiny little acorns in my, my yard right now. Um, but the red oak acorn, the cap, if you look at the cap, it's gonna have um, kind of a flaky appearance to it. The, the little, um, the, part, the part that makes up the cap is like little flaky things you can kind of peel back with your fingernail. As opposed to a white oak acorn, um, where it's more like uh, little pyramids almost that, that poke out from the, the, sh the cap of the acorn. So you can kind of see that again, that's the white oak acorn. It's got the little pointed um, pieces all the way around it. Whereas the red oak has the flaky cap. And uh, hopefully you can see that. But anyway, that's just a quick tip I want to shoot. So when you're out in the woods, um, you know, Look at those trees and start to make that determination. Really, the best thing to do is grab you a field guide. Man, if you can get you a field guide to, uh, to Eastern US trees and start to learn these oaks, because it's important not just to know a white oak from a red oak, but to know the different types of red oaks, the different types of white oaks, and to know which one that, that deer prefer and which ones drop early, which ones drop late. All that stuff can be important, make you a better woodsman and make you a better deer hunter. So for more great hunting tips, hey, be sure to check out our website at georgiafield.com. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'd certainly appreciate that. And until next time, hunt safe, shoot straight, and most importantly, just enjoy your time spending God's great outdoors. We'll see you in the field this fall.